I mean, so we're talking about the CIA's willingness to work with um, kind of shady figures. And uh, so I want to bring up kind of Operation Bloodstone for a bit. So Operation Bloodstone was basically one of the CIA's first um, operations. It was basically to grab uh, Nazis from post-World War II Germany to go in and work for them basically as undercovers for around the world. And this is uh, this is how long before Operation Paperclip, which also involved Nazis? Uh, right? I think it's the same year. Okay. Operation Paperclip was basically rounding up the Nazi scientists for NASA. Right. But it's, it's 1947, the first year that the CIA is created. Um, and then two years later is MK Ultra. So when you talk about the CIA as this like boogeyman throughout American history who is like responsible for all this evil stuff, you know, there's evidence to kind of support it. I mean, this was never an agency that wasn't corrupt. Yeah, from the beginning, as, you, as you're saying. It's kind um, of almost kind of built on corruption in a sense. Like, I mean, in, unless they, you know, I yeah. mean, you're saying that was the first year that the CIA that, That's existed. one of their first operations because right. they're, they're founded in 1947, and that was the year that Operation Bloodstone uh, started. Um, uh, we should move back to the Haight-Ashbury Clinic. Um, well, you know, we, we talked How long until Ghislaine Maxwell is dead? Uh, <laughs> that's what I want to know. She's already dead. She's I mean, she, been dead. She might as well be. But. She's been dead. You think so? MK Ultra got her. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jack. Oh Ruby. my God. We're we're going Jack deep Ruby into was, this. Jack Ruby was on Epstein's private plane. Yeah, he's, he's in a lot. He's the one who killed. Uh, he killed Epstein in prison. Jack Ruby. Wow. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I wouldn't. I would. I wouldn't be opposed to thinking that Epstein was some CIA operative. Uh, I mean, no, of course not. No. I, I think that's the kind of prevailing theory almost was not that, necessarily CIA, but that he was, that he was basically blackmailing people for intelligence. Yeah. I yeah. mean, um, you know, I don't want to necessarily mention, um, you know, other shows or something, but I came across, uh, yeah, just yeah, cause yeah, I don't sure. know what the, rules are with youtube and I, I mean cool. it doesn't matter it's um, better if we just pretend all other podcasts don't exist yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's uh that'll work out real well um, there's only about 18 billion of them um, um but no but um it was just pointing out that it's like a pretty classic scheme that's been done a number of times yeah. where you know someone poses as someone they're not and is actually working for a high level government, you know, yeah. agency. And they're basically just, um, sort of, uh, jeopardizing people, getting them in situations that, that compromises them rather, yeah. you know, whether it's with orgies and sex or drugs. Or, I mean, who knows if Charles Manson wasn't doing that, right. he, you know, he was hosting orgies with underage girls with lots of drugs, you know, in the height of the hippie movement. Yeah. And, um, it's just wild that we have such a uh, recent example, yeah. seemingly example of that um, with Epstein. Yeah. Um,